white farmer uh, who, who, who had a journalist friend on the, on the Telegraph in London. Wow. And when they came here, he found that Nestle was buying milk uh, from the first family. Mm. And so he got it uh, into the newspapers. So the CEO of Nestle is visiting uh, London and this hits him in the face. Mm. Uh, so I'm here and I, I, I as chairman, I, I get a call which says, listen, pull the plug. Mm. So I said, what do you mean pull the plug? They said, yeah, you're not buying milk from, from there. So I said, wait a minute, where does this come from? Uh, they said, no, 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 this thing is in the newspapers. It's becoming a co controversy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Let's think, let's think this through. Mm -hmm. uh, is this a political decision or yeah. is it a business decision? So uh, the, 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 the colleagues in, in, in Switzerland then, then said, uh, how, how do you mean? I said, listen, uh, the company has been here since 1959. Mm -hmm. uh, those are colonial days. Then we had a settler regime, and we continue to buy milk and process. Mm -hmm. We did not take a political uh, mm. position. Mm. Uh, Nestle in South Africa was buying milk under apartheid conditions. Mm. Mm. So is this political? Let's be careful here. So they came back and they said, oh, we hear you. You've got a point. Mm -hmm. uh, so we crafted a statement which went out uh, from, from, from Switzerland. Uh, we, which was very clear, you know, we stay in, in countries uh, uh, to do business. We believe in the future of countries and, and so on. Uh, very business-like. Uh, then we started getting boycotts. <laughs> Nestle products being boycotted in London. It became political. South Africa, Australia became political. Mm -hmm. So I got a call. Two days, pull the plug. And these are the reasons. I mean, it was, it was quite clear. Mm. And, and people were beginning now in, in those countries, they were making fun of the Nestle Nest and uh, putting, you know, cartoons, et, et cetera, which uh, well, it, 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 it had got out of wow. hand. Yeah. So, so I, I perfectly understood and uh, I found a way to get a message to, to the president to say that, uh, listen, th this thing is out of hand. Mm. There, there's no way we can. Uh, uh, um, avoid this now, we, we have to pull the plug. Mm. And the word I got back from the president was, yes, it's okay. Mm. Uh, but I hope I... There was no pushing back No, no, he, he said, no, no, I hope it's, it's only me, it's not others and so on. But it was the other guys around him. Uh -huh. You know, the ministers. Wow. Yes. You know, uh, uh, who decided to get angry on behalf, on of, behalf the president. of him. Yes. So, so they they are the ones who started getting angry and say, "Oh no, it won't happen!" Oh, this and that, and intimidating, you know, coming to see me at the factory. Where did you get the courage to stand on principle and to push back on these ministers getting angry on behalf of the president? What what informed that courage? I I I, I think. I think that there, there are probably very, very various factors. Um, the, the one is, you know, whilst we were growing at university and so on, we were already involved in nationalist uh, uh, politics at university and, and so on. And uh, I, I knew most of the people who then became ministers. Uh, and and uh, I know some people might think he, a person gets anointed because he's been appointed. It doesn't work like mm. that. These are people that we, we, we've worked with and, and they make the same errors. And, they're human. Um, they're, they're, they're human. So, so I, I, I had that sense uh, with, with, with those colleagues. Uh, but, but the other, like I said, uh, was just, my, my, my guy just, oh, you know, he just told me, listen, this is nonsense. Mm. And, and I think nonsense uh, must be called out wow. for, for what it is. Uh, I remember one minister coming to see me at Nestle at night, uh, because at the time we had this tanker full of milk uh, at the factory, which we were not going to offload. And uh, he said to me, oh, we must offload the milk and, and so on. So I said, minister. It's not going to happen. I said, no, 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 no. I said, Minister, where do you come in? Mm -hmm. There's a client there, and there's us. Where do you come in? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't understand. You know, this, this is an arrangement between this milk supplier and us as a processor. Mm -hmm. And you are a minister in government. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we even had some ZANPF youths uh, come to, to, to the factory, mm -hmm. uh, to, to the offices. 
to say you must take the milk, you must, you know. Uh, and, and of course, we, which was quite uh, uh, unfortunate, uh, uh, this uh, heavy, heavy handedness mm. on issues which were completely uh, uh, out of their sphere. Mm. Uh, so, yes, you, 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 you say that. I, I, I sense that there, there are certain things that we, we do in life um, without much having to think about it. You know, like to say, oh, let me go and ask my brother or let me ask my friend, how do I deal with this? And I, I just did that uh, out of the batting. And in the negotiations and discussions that I then had with, with uh, uh, the, 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 the president through the then uh, Minister of Industry, mm. uh, Welshman, uh, um, it, 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 it was very clear that I needed to have a mandate and, and Nestle was very good. They, they gave me the mandate to say, listen, you, you negotiate uh, on behalf of, of the company. These are the parameters. Uh, and I remember one okay, minister saying to me, ah, you are coming. No, 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 no. We want uh, the shareholder. And I said, no, no. I represent uh, the shareholder. Uh, that, that's what I'm here for. If I sign, they, they, they are beholden to that. Mm -hmm. If I make a mistake, tough. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's what I'm here for, uh, you know. And, and so, so that, that, that helps mm -hmm. when people have that mm -hmm. kind of level of confidence in you. It, it helps, uh, and you know very well that wow, I have mm. to, mm. to 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 make uh, the, the the right decision. Mm. I mean, the police picked me up um, and, and uh, took me to the central uh, charge office here, uh, and and they said we want you to to tell us why you are not buying the milk from Kushungo. Yes, and I I <laughs> they picked me up, and our finance director at the time, Farai Munet, and. Uh, so we started writing, and of course, I sent word to our lawyer at the time, uh, Selby, Selby Watcher. Watcher. Yes. And uh, Selby then contacted the Minister of Industry, uh, Welshman, who then went to see the president. And the and, uh, Welshman uh, says, he asked the president, why, why have you arrested him? And, and he says, the president says, I hope it's not about my milk. <laughs> this is not something to arrest someone for. No, 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 no. So, so th then he said, let me ask uh, Shuri. So he called Shuri and Shuri said, no, 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 I know nothing about it. So I was released, you know, a few hours.